Hello friends, welcome to the 41 episode of Joomla 2.5 custom component development series. In the previous episode, we have learned how to use model in your view. And we have created a new view that is chat history and we have used the model chat history model in our view. And we have displayed all the chat history as well as in the pagination was working. So for this reason, we have created this model and we have written a lot of codes. In this episode, I will show you how to use model list different model in Joomla so that we can minimize all the code so uh, let's start so for this demonstration we will create another view and we will compare that how much code we have um, less used okay so uh, open that your project folder so components com underscore open chat so here we will create another view let's say copy and paste so chats view so let's rename this to chats okay now just go to the sublime text from here we will modify all the other details like view.html.php so here we will modify these chats okay so now let's uh, view this chats view so here you can see uh, undefined index chats view dot php get items because uh, we don't have any model that's why the problem is so if we create a model like chats so chats dot php and we copy and paste all this code like here so let's refresh this section so we have to rename this model this should be chats and refresh this page so our chat view is working okay now we have this amount of code so let's open the view dot default sorry chats here a layout file so everything is same now in this view like chats view so so what we will use we will uh, use model list instead of model so list it will be model list so this model is created for displaying data so list okay now we will remove everything expect the query so let's copy this query and we will remove everything from this class uh, keep that hello oh, it's not we will not use that hello yes so now we will create an function get list query sorry this is function so here uh, we will just write the query so this is our query so we have to follow some syntax like let's say return dollar query okay now save and we have done nothing okay everything is same just we have removed the hello function now let's refresh this page so let's check here you can see now the default dot page we have to change the view name that should be chats okay and let's refresh this page so here you can see uh, we have just written the query right we have just written this query and we are getting the result that's the beauty of Joomla if you used good model in real time required time or when you need that model so it will save a lot of time for you so how to write the query here so at first we will get the query instance so query equal to parent get list query 
that means we are actually overriding the parent class method the in this class this method is exist that is get list query and uh, we are calling this get items get business and all these methods are exist in the parent class okay so now uh, using this object we will uh, use specify our query so query select so now here we will specify what we want to select so we want to select like this okay so let's have specified select this now from which table so dollar query from so from as C so not need form just we have to mention the table name and alias so now we will use the left join so dollar query join and now where we have to specify left join or right or inner so left now in which table left join on this so here we will write so now another left join we need so let's copy and paste so this time we are left joining this table so let's copy thus whole things so copy and paste okay now just remove this so save and let's try so here you can see uh, the list is working and also you can see the chats here we are in the chats view and the pagination also working here you can see but what we did just we have mentioned the query we did nothing but if you look at the previous model we have did a lot of things like this amount of code we have written we have calculated total we have specified the gate items we have uh, specified the pagination we need to uh, initialize the pagination object that things but if we implement this model list we just give this query and uh, he is doing automatically all the things so that's the beauty of Joomla so you have to write less amount of code if you use good model in good time so hopefully you have learned how to use model list in your view so in this way you can also put some where condition so like uh, let's say where username equal to one oh no like id id equal to six so dollar query where okay now here we will give the condition so c dot id equal to what 16 save this and refresh this page so now we are getting the 16 so in this way you can put multiple where condition so like here and also lot in this way you can write lot of where condition okay so um, so what we have learned we have successfully implemented model list in our component and we have created and view which have less code than J model so thanks for watching this tutorial and if you have any question suggestion or feedback just please write comment below this video and please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching have a good day